with the trouble that's going on all around us, issues in the government, issues in politics, issues in foreign affairs, the Middle East, Israel, Russia, China, Russian ships in around Cuba, 90 miles off the coast of Florida. It's a crazy time that we live in and we know things are only going to get worse. The good thing, the upside to all of it is it points to the fact that we are in the times that the Bible talked about when Jesus Christ would return. And so it's glorious, it's wonderful. If you think about it, things are not falling apart, although they certainly seem like they're falling apart. But from a biblical standpoint, things are falling into place. It, I, I love what Joseph said to his brothers after you know, they had mistreated him so badly. He had spent some, I don't know, 20 years. First of all, they sold him into slavery and then he was purchased by Potiphar and he was falsely accused and then thrown in prison and treated so badly. Can you imagine being a 17 year old young person and going through all that and yet he never forsook the God of his fathers. He never forsook the Lord. And the Lord took care of him through all of that. And he said to his brothers as they were weeping and begging for forgiveness, he said, don't be afraid <laughs> for I am in the, am I in the place of God? No. God's in control. God's over all things. But as for you, you thought evil against me, but God meant it for good, note this, to bring to pass as it is this day to save many people alive. You know, we're in that very situation right now also. We, you know, we're not in the place of controlling or making things happen necessarily because we're not in the place of God. But if you're born again and you know Jesus, then we know that God has a handle on all of this. We don't know what exactly the future holds, how much time we have, but we, by knowing Jesus Christ and having a personal relationship with him, we know who holds the future and he holds it and he holds us and he's got it all set and together and he's got us in his loving hands so we don't have to worry we don't have to fret I hope that encourages you and what did he do well through that the Lord used Joseph to save many alive and that's what we're called to do. We're called to give the gospel. We're called to share the good news that many people will be saved alive. It's a great time to tell people to repent from their sins and turn to Jesus Christ. Today is the day of salvation. God bless you as you worship and serve Jesus.